Greetings and peace. I hope you and yours are doing well today, wherever you might be watching this from. Now, the title of today's video that I would like to make is that why everybody needs to stop the religious, racial, and political gangbanging that they're doing. And, you know, by gangbanging, I mean that it's about, you know, they, them trying to win people to their causes. It's like how a gang member would go and try to claim another hood for himself or for his gang. That's what's going on with the lines being drawn. <laughs> and, you know, the thing is that nobody's teaching human unity. Everybody's saying that, hey, you're right, I'm right, I'm wrong, you're wrong. No, no one's trying to admit anything. Everyone's like kind of stuck in their echo chambers. Nobody's making the effort to learn anything or to understand the other side of the equation and realize that, hey, you know, we're, we're all walking each other home. And we all owe this love and light to each other. There's so much division and neg negativity going on. I remember I made a video in the December of 2019 saying that you have to choose love, not fear. But the way that I see it, that humanity keeps falling into those same traps. No matter who tells them that, hey, man, you got to be careful. Something's coming your way. But, you know, at the end, they still continue to make their free will choices that do not um, help them in any, any way. So, you know, a lot of people are losing uh, family and friendships over, you know, recent issues that are going on. And I would tell people is that you all got to come together and help each other. You got to come together and help each other and become one united society because that's the only solution. Love is always the solution because if you alienate everyone and everyone's scared to talk to each other or express themselves in any way, then you create a society where there is going to be trouble somehow some way you're because you're you're basically setting it up in that in that fashion and regard now recently everyone celebrated fourth of july for the united states you know for the freedom but if you really look at it collectively for all the races and religions that live here what freedom do people really have you're not represented you know, you can't run for office unless you're one of the millionaire or billionaire class. The laws that you want passed and you want represented are not being there for you. When even if you have a paid off property, if you don't pay the taxes or the trash bill or whatever tax bill that you get for that year, if you miss it by the deadline, then they slap a lien on it. And then the sheriff come and does the sheriff sale and kicks you out of your own home. Even if it's paid off, you're still not you know ha have that freedom just like how it was back in those days where you know the tax collectors would come outside of your home that still happens nothing you know the system never really changed you're actually living under a worse system so why not you all come together and help each other buy land and help buy businesses and find ways to get out of that paradigm and help each other become more self-sufficient and independent and find out what skill do i have what skill do you have if you if you really want to stick it to the man then you know find a skill that you're good at and become your own boss that way you don't have to listen to nobody you don't have you don't have to let anybody tell you what to do you're in charge of your own destiny and your own life and you you get to help others and your community in the long run because that, that that's that's going to be ultimately what saves us in the end it's the the community aspect it's the community that has to help each other even if you have a cities that are being torn apart by crime, what 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 do the authorities tell you? Oh, uh, we we need the community to help us because it's they're not the ones that are, that are not going to do it for you. It's you. You're the ones that have to save yourselves and save your communities and make sure you're investing properly and not wasting your money and helping each other get homes and businesses and help build each other up. That's that's how you're going to be successful in this country. Not just in this country, but anywhere in the world you go, it's the same mindset. I mean, I can sit here and find ways to alienate myself from the system. Yeah, that's good and all that. But at the end, what is that going to gain me? And you got to look at it this way. I mean, you know, that access to the divine and what the, you know, all of the scriptures that teach us no matter what path you follow or what philosophy you follow they tell us that the you know the essence of the divine sits in the heart of every man and woman it doesn't tell you it's only for this race or this race or this race or that race you got to come together as a people for if anybody wants to take the human family seriously 
I mean, we're too busy abusing each other about whose uh, race or religion or political views are right. I mean, I go to the local park. I see so much trash there every day. You have Mother Earth, who is a live, sentient being. And humanity is just polluting and trashing and destroying each other and being tribalistic. Even if you play all of these post-apocalyptic games that come out, yeah, you have the zombies and the creatures and all that, but who creates them? Who creates the divisions? Who's the one that does all that stuff for greed and for money and for power? It's the humans. So we need to get back to our source of divinity from that fallen state that we're currently in for us and our community and our people. We got to be able to rise up and become stronger in all of these aspects and not fall into these race, uh, uh, you know, political or racial division of, uh, you know, guidelines that people are falling into. Now, everyone's like fighting for their leaders and stuff. But at the end, those people don't know who you are. They don't care about you. They're all a bunch of actors at the end. They're all playing a role. They all have a certain agenda and role that they play. And then they move on with their life. And you never hear from them again. So why why destroy your friendships and relationships and family links just because of that? Because, okay, oh, I don't agree with him. I don't like him. And etc etc you know it's they become a distant memory once they're out of office and what's gonna happen is that everyone needs to find ways to find out what's going on in their community how do we address the issues of crime in our community how do we address the issues of those that don't have jobs how do we help you know kids who don't have access to public libraries or a place to play or an outlet so where they can hang out and after school and not get in trouble in any way that's what is going to help uplift your community. And if in America, if they do that community by community and a network is formed throughout the whole country, that's when you'll be able to have change. It's all at the local level. It all starts from your local communities. And, you know, the whole gang banging about whose race is right, whose religion is right, whose political views are right. That's not going to help you in this life or the next. Just like, you know, the people that tell you that if I don't believe what they believe, then I'm going to hell. And, you know, vice versa, you know, and all of the, if you go around it. But that's not true. It's about your heart. And it's it's about, you know, you becoming better. And all of those teachings tell you, you know, to love and respect one another. But at the, at the end, it's man that creates the problem. It's man. Nobody's teaching human unity. Everyone's trying to be like, oh, I need to evangelize I need to do this I need to go on these missions I need to do this because it's all about you know it's all it's a gang banging mindset how many people can I get to my cause but who is teaching human unity hey you know you don't have to tell that person that if you don't believe what I believe then he or she's not going to hell no it's that's not what it should, it should be about it's about it's that love and respect hey what I have within me he has it too she has it too that's what you got to teach. And the leaders that we have, not just in the religious world, in the political world, they want to keep people separate by, you know, creating these things. Even though, you know, the race leaders that are out there, half of them are just, you know, mining their own pockets. They don't care about the local kids being shot or, you know, whatever, whatever is happening in the local communities. They don't care. They just come for the camera up and, you know, collect their little donation and off they go. They don't care about you. Whether it's, you know, political leaders, racial leaders, or religious leaders. They just want you to stay divided. Because they want you to think the other person is, is your enemy. But don't fall into those traps. Love is always the answer. Like I told you before this year even started. That, you know, the agents of chaos had a lot of agendas that they were going to use against the human family. But, you know, fast forward now. You know, halfway, the year's halfway over. But people still continue falling into those traps. And I tell you that. You know, that love and light that's within you, it's within others as well. And help them activate that. Help them find out what's going on in the community. And you become the shepherds of your own community. And that's the only way you'll have change. It's not about blaming one side or the other. You know, a lot of people said, oh, okay, uh, you know, Democrat-run cities are like this or that. I mean, where I live in the suburban part of Philadelphia, this area was in ch charge since the Civil War by the Republicans. And... Nothing got done. They only helped their own. They only did favors and, you know, got jobs for their own. They didn't care about anybody else. So, you know, that blame game, you can play both sides on that. You know, some because both sides, 
are equally guilty in their own way of how they have misrepresented their populace and just cared about their own. So forget about all those people. Forget about all that. Just focus on your local community level and stop falling into those ra you know, racial or uh, religious or political uh, divisions that are out there to divide you from your fellow man. And once that mindset goes away, then the people at the top, their control over you goes away. So if you could do that, then that's when you'll have your true freedom. Or if you could look at somebody and, you know, see them as the same way that you could see yourself. And <clears throat> just like what all the religion and um, philosophies and cultures teach you that you cannot truly love God until, until you wish for yourself what you wish for your brother. So you got to get like that. It doesn't say, okay, you only wish for white brothers or black brothers or, you know, these brothers or these brothers. It's for everyone. Everyone has a claim upon your kind offices. So you got to be able to, you know, you got to get your act together. Turn the TV off. Cause, uh, that, those people are part of the problem. Turn the TV off. I remember in 2003 when they were spreading all the lies of anthrax, anthrax, anthrax. What happened? There was nothing there. Thousands of U.S. troops died. million Iraqis died. For what? You have innocents on both sides that pay the price. And then you have people at the top that go home and cash their checks. So don't let those people continue those same agendas against you about, oh, about this, you know, religion or race or politics. Just stay happy. If you woke up today, then that's your life. If you And when you go to sleep, you die, and then you wake up again. So you got to take it that way. Don't worry about anything else. And that's all I can say, you know, choose love and not fear. And because this rest of this month and August and September until the rest of this year, I still got a lot of stuff that they're going to use against you. I'm just letting you know, and you got to be careful. Keep your frequency up. Avoid anything that brings you down or gets you angry or feeds off of you emotionally in any way, because that's what they want. Avoid drugs, avoid alcohol, avoid any activity that lowers you in any way. And always cleanse yourself with water and you're gonna be all right you're gonna be all right so stop the <laughs> stop the uh, racial religious and political gang banging and become one human family again and Uncle Sal's prayers are always with you and your family so think about what I said it's for your own good take care